Eris, we're in position. Where are we headed? Your destination lies deep within the fortress, Guardian, in the Apothecary Wing. There you should find a particular shard of crystal. You might recognize it from Savathun's time in the custody of the Awoken. So this crystal is a piece of her former prison, which means it was likely on her when she stole the light. Yes. My source believes the events leading to her escape are intrinsically linked to the mystery before us now. This crystal could very well be the clue we've been looking for. Yes. Savathun's halls are just as winding and deceitful as her mind. To move forward, you must seek out the more aberrant paths. What's the situation? The Guardian is en route to the object in question now, Commander. Good. You are sure this will get us the answers we need? We can't afford another dead end. The Queen of the Reef does not share information lightly. Mara Song gave you the tip? You didn't mention that before. I did, in fact, mention it. To Ikora, moments before you interrupted us. She agreed there was no more reliable source on this matter than Savathun's former captor. I trust Mara, but she plays her cards too close to her chest. If she had shared this earlier, we wouldn't be so desperate now. To win against the Hive God of Cunning and Lies, it's best not to show one's hand too early. This hive suit will be just as useful as the last one. Now we need to find a lock to smash open. The Witch Queen may have recast her realm in a lucent sheen, but remnants of dark architecture still lurk underneath. And the Guardian's new ability reveals these hidden remnants. Yes, Ikora explained. Why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force, but when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end.
done well honing the gift granted to you by the Black Fleet, Guardian. Do you see now, Commander, why Ikora chose as she did? For all her doubts, she knew only darkness channeled by a strong mind could bring us this far. I understand. My issue isn't with the call Ikora made, but the fact that she made it on her own. We know how Savathun operates. She singles people out for a reason. There's no need to make her job any easier. Eris, I think you know better than anyone that darkness is not a path to be forged alone. She wasn't alone. Though, no, I take your point. This is definitely the apothecary wing. Somehow, it feels even creepier in here. Naturally. You're trespassing on the testing grounds for the Lucent Hive's most wretched experiments.
Savathun likely appointed one of her High Council wizards to keep watch over this place. Fight them. The crystal is sure to be nearby. signs of a crystal so far. Just rows and rows of jars filled with... Is that light? But it's tainted somehow. Savathun has always encouraged her wizards to push boundaries of hive magic. It seems that hasn't changed with the light. Perhaps that corruption has far less to do with the power than the one channeling it. Or the power has permanent side effects. Darkness transforms Sabathun into kin from prey to predators. Not darkness itself, but an entity behind it corrupted the Hive. Conditioned their power on an endless blood tide. Their fate is not inevitable. I have no doubt that some can handle darkness with discipline. But those who can't, they're not the only ones to pay the price. This is an inverted realm. Explore any and all directions, especially those you least suspect. Looks like we're interrupting something. But where's the wizard overseeing all this? Found the one in charge around here. Good. Now go and beat the whereabouts of the crystal out of them. The wizard just fled. Follow them. They're closing ranks around the crystal.
crystal guardian. Time to finish this. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. And sacrifice. That was Savathun, all right. But what does that mean? This is the evidence we've been seeking all along. Ikora's instincts were correct, after all. Indeed. But we don't have our answers yet. Go unlock the memory, Guardian. Then let's see if this cracks the case. Now the world begins to fade. that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start, but if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave. 
So, you're saying Savathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with a the light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Sabathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Savathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right, how do we stop this? I'm not sure yet, but I know where to find out.